what's up guys, Tyler here, and today I want to show you a cross training workout using my brand new progressive movement technology utilized in the CT50 system. Now, before you hear all those words and think they're just crazy mumbo jumbo, let me talk to you about why progressive movement technology is so important. The reason why, and I've done this mistake before, is people oftentimes will do too advanced of a workout for themselves or they'll get lazy and they'll stick to specifically the beginner version of the workouts and not push themselves beyond. In either case, you're not going to get the best results possible. So what you need to do is utilize progressive movement technology to make sure that each exercise progressively gets more difficult in terms of your movement complexity, your speed, your coordination in order to get you the best results in the long run. So right here is a beginner, intermediate and advanced cross training style workout. All you need is something to do pull ups on. So I've got a pair of gymnastic rings right here and a dumbbell or a kettlebell and you can get this workout done in no time flat. Let's take you on over to the beginner variation of this workout. All right, you guys, for the beginner variation of this workout, you're going to set a timer for 10 minutes. You're going to let that timer go for 10 minutes. And during that 10 minutes, you're going to see how many rounds you can do of the following three exercises. So you're going to need to take a pair of rings or a barbell and put it at about waist level so you can do body weight rows. You're going to do five reps of the body weight row. So five reps of the body weight row. Two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to do five reps of the touch jump. So this is a burpee without going chest to ground. So all you're going to do is touch the ground with your hand and come back up and jump. So one, two, three, four, five, and then finally take your dumbbell or your kettlebell, and let's do five swings. So hip extension, one, two, three, four, five. Just five simple reps of each exercise. Now the goal is, for the entire 10 minutes on this beginner workout, you're going to see how many times you can go through the list of five rows, five touch jumps, and five swings, and you're going to record how many times you get it done. And once you see a significant improvement, from where you started to where you are now, then you can go on to this next intermediate variation of this exercise. All right, for the intermediate variation of this workout, you're gonna utilize this progressive movement technology and make each one of the three exercises from the beginner workout slightly more difficult. So we're gonna start first by lifting your rings up or using a pull-up bar and doing a jumping pull-up to slow negative, and that's about a three second negative. So here's what it's gonna look like. You're gonna grab one of those rings, you're gonna jump up, you're gonna go one, two, three, that's one rep. Jump up, one, two, three, that's two reps. Jump up, one, two, three, that's three reps. Two more, one, two, three, that's four reps. One more, one, two, three, that's five reps. Now we're gonna take the burpee to the next level. So you're gonna place your hands on the ground, jump back to a tight plank, glutes tight, core tight, everything tight, jump back up, jump. So one, again, two, I don't want anybody backs sagging down like this. Three, everybody stays tight right here, four, one more, and five. And then we're moving on to one arm swing. So same exercise, last level, grab your dumbbell or your kettlebell, fly your back up, go five right, five left, two, three, so remember it's all about the hips on this four, five, switch hands, one, two, three, four, and all about the hips, five, bring it down safely. Now with this intermediate variation, you're gonna do the same three exercises, five jumping pull-ups to negatives, five burpees without the push-up, five one-arm swings right, five one-arm swings left, as many times around as you can, this time for a 12-minute time limit. Once you see a significant improvement from the first time you did this workout, to say two or three months down the road, you're getting way more rounds, way more reps in, then you can move on to this final advanced variation. All right, you guys, for this last and final variation, this is the advanced version of the workout you just saw. We just saw a beginner and intermediate. Now we're gonna take it to the next level. And so we're gonna do five full pull-ups, five full chest-to-ground burpees, and five full one-arm snatches right and then left. And you're gonna repeat that for 15 minutes this time for as many rounds as you possibly can. So let's take you through one round, and then I'll take one more second to explain why this progressive movement technology is so important if you wanna get the best results possible. So to start the advanced workout, grab onto a pull-up bar or a pair of rings and let's start with five pull-ups. If you guys can't quite do strict pull-ups, it's okay to use a little bit of a knee kip, like this, four and five. 
Good. Five chest to ground burpees this time. Everything comes all the way down to the ground, and you press up with your core tight. Bring your legs flat, jump. So it's one, two, three, two more, four, last one, and five. And finally, grab that dumbbell or that kettlebell, and let's go five full snatches. Arm all the way overhead. Two, three, again, focusing on hips. Four, one more. Five, switch sides. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now, repeat that workout. Five pull ups, five chest to ground burpees, five snatches right, five snatches left, for as many rounds as you can in 15 minutes. And that is the advanced variation of this workout. As you can see, each of the three levels gets progressively more difficult than the last. You have the beginner level, which is fairly easy, the intermediate level, which becomes harder and increases in length, and the advanced level using advanced exercises and again, increasing in length. The reason why this is so important is because if you're a beginner person doing an advanced workout, you're not going to get the results you want, you could potentially get injured, and ultimately you're gonna burn yourself out faster. And if you're an advanced person who's stuck on a beginner or immediate workout, you're not going to get the best results possible from your workouts because you're simply not pushing yourself the hardest. And that's exactly why we created the CT50 system, which highlights five different levels of progress, starting at beginner basic exercises and workouts, and going all the way to some of the most advanced hardcore workouts you've ever seen, all based on a cross-training format so you can do them in addition to any type of exercise that you currently enjoy. If you guys are interested in learning more about the CT Revolution, go ahead and click the links below. Otherwise, enjoy those workouts and thanks for watching.